So this time Friday afternoon, you guys had a 3% chance of making the playoffs. Now you guys are going to the playoffs, two games, two wins this weekend. What does that say about this group? Uh, you know, going back to Toronto game, uh, you know, at half, we, we kind of looked around the room and we, and we looked inside ourselves and what, what we're willing to do for the guy beside us. So um, through the, the week coming up, we didn't worry about the, the small things. We worried about what we could control and control the controllables. So that's, I, I think that's what we did, you know, front end, back end, and then just took care of ourselves. And, and even in this last week, I think we became closer as a group. And it's something that, you know, you can't trade for, you can't buy it. It's just, it just happens. And, and when you have that uh, kind of chemistry, it's success. And it, uh, it's a little more for the guy beside you. So um, after this week, it was, it's great for us, but uh, we're going to keep on rolling here. So just talk about your game. I mean, you gave up three goals in 60 minutes today. You gave up one goal in the last 15 minutes in Georgia. Four goals in 75 minutes of action. That's unheard of in this league. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to get overcredited for it. I think that the defense, uh, they're, they're huge. And, you know, those guys, you, even in the Georgia game, they went to bat for me. In this game, they went to bat for 60 minutes. If not, they played like it was 65 minutes. So I think that the defense needs to be credited for, for what was on the scoreboard. And uh, obviously, people are going to look at myself. But I think that as a whole round group, that we deserve that, uh, that number on the board. And we, and we got it all together, offense included. How gratifying is it for you because you came in as the start of the season. You battled through an injury. There's a lot of weeks we saw you shoot around. You wanted, people wanted you in the game and waited and waited and waited. And now you, you got the opportunity once you were fully healthy. Talk about your journey this season, how difficult that is, but then how, how great the ending was. You know, it's uh, a lot of credit to Hachi. So I think that, you know, I came in and, and it, takes a, it takes a bigger man than myself to to uh, you know, sit on the bench and then wait for your opportunity. So to start, I think Hutchie deserves every every bit of credit, and that guy has shown himself uh, this league what he can do, and and uh, a teammate to myself, teammate to everyone else, and, and the support that that guy's given me uh, through the whole journey. And then you know, the least I could do was try and give back to him and uh, the fans, the fans uh, being supportive, and and my coaches not rushing back into things and taking my health into consideration. And then, uh, you know, back home, everyone in, the, in my community kind of respecting the, the time away from the game and, and encouraged me to take care of myself. And then obviously my family, my family goes through it whenever I go through the highs and the lows. So the whole journey has been, you know, it's, we're, it's not done yet, but it's, uh, it's bittersweet. So you want to keep on rolling with it. And, and uh, a big thanks to, you know, the Nighthawks and, and my teammates for, for helping me. You mentioned the fans. At one point in the fourth quarter, the Hartley chant came out from the crowd. Yeah. What's that like when you're sitting on the field and you're having a great game and you're hearing your name from almost 7,000 people just chanting? I mean, when you're a little boy, you, you dream to play in this league and then things like that, that's just, you know, that's surreal. And, and, and how could you not want to play for this city when, when they're getting your back like that? And it just makes you want to stay and play and give everything you got every game, every second for these, for these guys. And then, uh, you know, it just it's, you know, it hits home. Usually when you guys have back-to-back -back games, you play Friday night, Sunday night, teams come out a little bit sluggish in that Sunday afternoon game. What did you guys do yesterday to rehab your bodies that you guys came out to that strong start here in the first quarter? Yeah, we took care of ourselves in the sense, you know, fluids and, and eating right and, and uh, our trainers, which is another, you know, huge part that they don't get recognition for, for our success on the floor because uh, they were here and they were here for hours and they were uh, working on everyone that needed help and uh, willing to, uh, you know, get us in uh, peak performance and, you know, Lobber and Jamie, same thing. They're they're always around the clock. You know, when we, when we go back to the hotel, they're still they're still on. Uh, they're working 24 seven. And they're and they're here for us. So that uh, that was huge for us, making sure we were ready. But again, like it's uh, it's an unwritten thing. You can't buy, can't have it. We just we were close, and and we knew how bad we wanted it. And and so that, I think that was another thing. You play through a little bit of bumps and bruises when you're when you uh, let your heart lead you. You could hear the celebration from all the way out here. Just how much did it mean to you guys to be able to clinch a playoff berth on the last day? It's it, it means you know you play this game and you play 18 games to, to make playoffs. So it's it was huge for us and it and it feels great and you know you enjoy it for a half hour maybe and then and then you soak it in and then you you worry about the next game. But uh, it uh, it's awesome. You know it's it's almost uh, the percentage was so low and and probably a lot of people counted us out and. And, uh, and there's the very few that supported us that stuck it through, and, and, it, and it feels great. And also just being able to do that in front of your home fans. I know that getting the chance at the end and everything of that nature, just how cool is it to do it 
in this manner, but also in front of the home fans. It's unbelievable. I, I, I wouldn't want it any other way. I wouldn't want to be in any other arena in any other state uh, and, and other than in front of the Rochester fans. And, and it was awesome. You know, it's, it gives you a little bit more oomph when you're playing. And, and uh, it's like, uh, you know, you feed off the energy. And then to see them stick through with us. And again, I've said it. They, you know, we've been here for four years or so. And, and you know, there's been some lows and there's been some highs. But for every fan, and we know, we know who they are that stick it through and, and, uh, and they keep supporting us, it's for them too.